2023, support group launches online petition asking Osiba Njo to run for presidency. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Over 140 people have signed an online petition asking Vice President Yemi Osibanjo to run for president in 2023. Well, 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 as the day goes by, it brings us closer to the end of, you know, that the current administration. A lot of people are coming out to endorse their own people, their most preferred candidate. A lot of people are coming out to encourage, promote. A lot of people are coming out to scrutinize, to, to give reasons why this person is not the best and that person is the best. And in the midst of it all, um, I think um, a certain group, uh, I think I don't, the name does not come to mind right now. They have been campaigning for Osibanjo since late last year, or is it mid last year? I think it's late last year. They have, been, they have come out to start campaigning for um, the vice president, you know, wanting him to come out for presidency. And uh, recently, I think Osibanjo himself, the vice president himself, came out and was telling those who were, you know, campaigning for him, telling them that for no reason should they insult um, 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 the former governor of Lagos State because we know that right now the two people who the world, I mean, Nigeria knows that these people, they have come out, I mean, uh, um, these people, one of them have come out and one have not, though campaigning is on, going on for, for him, is actually Bola Metinimbo and the vice president himself. So I think there's a, well, I say clash. I think there was a call out from Osibanjo's group and he, called, he came out and told his um, supporters that on no account should they, you know, insult, they should make sure whatever issue they have, they should not insult, you know, uh, the person that um, Geneva's people's group were supporting. I don't know if he said he was not going to come out or I think I read an article. I don't think I read well that uh, he said if Geneva is going to come out to run, he will not run. I don't understand. I don't know. He, I don't really know what he means. I don't know if bloggers were trying to play fast one on us. <laughs> but, um, and of course, still that same last year, people came out and uh, they started calling people out. They said they were going to call out and sue to court from certain people. Um, the most recent one being um, P2B. I think somewhere at the beginning of this year or last two weeks, last week or last two weeks, a certain person came out and called him out on, on, on Twitter and told him, look, sir, if you don't do this, we're going to be suing you to court. And, of course, last year, I think Osiba and Jotu and Ojiz or Kalu, they actually called him out and said, sir, if you don't come out to run for the presidency, we're going to sue you to court. But on this particular issue now, that they have signed an online petition asking the vice president to run for president, let me say this, that it is their own preferred candidate. I don't know why they're doing it, but this is just a gentle reminder, a subtle reminder, that we should not forget that our method of voting is to screen these people, and there is no time to screen these people other than now. Once the, AP, once this, once the APC, PDP, and another party bring out the person who is going to be their flag bearer for presidency, even for governorship, this should carry on, this should um, um, change our method of voting, even in the governorship election, even in the senatorial election, even in the councilorship election, even in the local government chairman election. We should ensure that we put in people who are competent, not people who are own people. At the end of the day, if Nigeria are good, he good for all of us. If he bad, he bad for all of us. So it's a gentle reminder. The news in detail. Please stay with us. According to the petition, which was initiated by a group called Concerned Citizens of Nigeria, Usibanjo is the most qualified person to be president in 2023. With the people of Nigeria hereby petition of Vice President Yemi, Professor Yemi Usibanjo to contest for the presidency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in the 2023 presidential election, the petition reads. Nigeria needs a leader with integrity, passionate about Nigeria, of impeccable credentials and tested and proven to deliver the country of our dreams for the good of all Nigerians. Professor Yemi Osibanjo stands tall above all others as the most qualified for the job. 
Your Excellency, your country needs you now. The petition has been signed by 143 people as of the time of this report. Although Osibanjo has not expressed interest in voting for the office of the president, there have been calls from various groups urging him to join the race. Some of these groups include the National Women's Coalition for Sibanjo, NWCO, and the new tribe TNT. Meanwhile, there are also calls for Rotimi Amici, the Minister of Transportation, to run for president in the upcoming presidential election. A group in support of the minister has placed an advertisement in the daily newspaper calling on him to contest for the presidency. Lead the way, we are sorely behind you. The advert reads. Earlier this month, a coalition of socio-political groups reported the result to drag Amechi into the presidential race. So, if you can see, we've had it. He's their most preferred candidate, and we know that um, alongside, you know, everybody have different choices and different tests. So people are calling on Rotimi Amechi, the Minister of Transportation, to come out and, you know, run for the presidency. Why we now? Why they are calling out people, you know, and dozen people here and there. Our own job is to just allow them screen our own person. Have you seen your candidates? I've asked before. If you have seen your candidates, drop it in the comment section. <laughs> if you have not seen your candidates like me, let's just be looking. Because this time around, it's not a time to come out and say, oh, let's go with the lesser evil. Let's go with somebody who is a recycled politician. No, these people have nothing new to give to us. Nothing new. The same pattern of running Nigeria, you know, the same way 